In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to buy and register your domain name through Hover.com. Okay, once you go to www.hover.com, you come to their homepage. And let's say you want to search for um, my awesome site.com. Okay. Well, it's going to look through a bunch of different registries and different things that they have, and it'll look for myawesomesite.com. Unfortunately, myawesomesite.com is not available. Somebody already has that. If it's, a, if it's a domain you want, you can make an offer, and what that'll do is they'll kind of try to find the owner, make an offer to them, and see if they're interested, and then handle the, the process. Uh, however, if it's not available and you don't want to make an offer, it'll give you a bunch of suggestions. So you, it'll say, hey, look, we offer .net, .me, .co, you know, all these different things. And they actually offer a lot of different ones, even like .actor, .ceo, .pro, uh, .work, uh, just, uh, just millions of different, well, not millions, but a ton of different um, extensions. All right, so let's say you're like, well, you know, I'm gonna try my awesome site, ABC, USA, one, two, three, you know, something like that and see if that's available all right so you search for that and you can already see that the top pick uh, is it is available and um, so once it finishes all the search there you go it shows all the different ones that are available and if you want the dot com you just would hit the plus sign and then what you'll do is it'll proceed to cart now if you want to add multiple ones you can add different ones let's say that you know I wanted all three of these all right, and then you'll see these, and you're like, oh, I didn't really want the, the X, Y, Z. I'm, I'm going to take that one off. There's a little X that you can do that, and then just proceed to cart. All right, and then once you get here, it'll give you an option. Uh, you can choose if you want an email forward, uh, if you want a small mailbox, they do offer email inboxes, or big mailboxes, which are actually quite large. Um, and then so it'll kind of tell you for each domain name what you want. Um, and you can also select one year or up to 10 years. You know, if you're going to keep this for a while, I highly recommend doing it more than one year. It's just, it, it keeps you from having to re-register over and over again. And uh, it, it's beneficial later on in, with SEO and different things. It's debatable whether or not it helps, but typically it shows that you're going to be around for a while if it's registered for more than one year. All right. And so at this point, if you want, uh, you can check out. However, if you're like, I uh, don't want the .NET. See this little X when you hover over it? You click on that and it takes it off. If you have a promo code, you can enter that here. Uh, and then when you're ready, you can click check out. I've blurred out the screen for my protection, obviously, so that my information isn't in there. But once you're done putting all your information in there, you would hit continue. Once you've purchased the domain name, it'll show up in your uh, manage domain section and so for instance if I want to scroll down here and I want to look at this one right here I can view the information about it when I need to renew it different things like that or if you would like you can hover over it and you can click edit all right and this will take you to the different things that you can do you can manage your auto renew transfer lock who is privacy all kinds of stuff here's the name servers you can adjust that if you're um, trying to you know, point your domain to a different server or if you're uh, doing anything with uh, different hosting providers, different things, you would want to look into those settings. Also, if you go to DNS, this is probably the most common thing that people do is they'll go to the DNS and it makes it real easy. You can see what the records are, where they're pointing to, and if you want to edit, this is like pointing your domain name at a uh, your web host, which I have other videos explaining how to do that then you can change that here, okay? And so there's lots of different things when you're setting up your mail, um, different things you can do that. It, it's, it's really good. You can select here and choose between A name, C name, and MX records. Um, those are uh, specific to setting up uh, mail, like email, like if you're setting up Google Apps, which I recommend uh, for that. So there's lots of different options here, but it's uber easy, works great, and you won't regret going with Hover.com.